But I'ma chill cause I know he gonna give me some money. Okay, let me quit playing for they copyright my shit. Um, I don't like this this glare. I definitely need to invest in a better Android phone. Girl, I need to take this hat. I promise I'm gonna wash my hair when I get home. Yeah, no bullshit. Um, cause this hat wig gotta go. Like, I need another one at this point, cause this shit so low down and toe down. Uh, it don't make no sense. So. The TTM 5K was a success. Shout out. Shout out. I'm tired as fuck, so I fuck up. Then I just fuck up. But shout out to Sharice um, Martin, the education program leader, for putting it together with the assistance of Christian. Um, but mostly Sharice every year, all the time. She does her own thing, her own events. She runs her own program, child. And I'm here for it. I love it. So, fifth annual 5K success complete. Now, time for the gala. The most stressful season and event ever. Y'all seen the gala week vlog? If you didn't do it. Oh, yeah. While I'm saying that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, if not, what are you doing? Like, do it. Now. Right now. Um... So y'all seen the vlog from this year. I hope y'all can see me because I feel like I'm the shade in the sun is being real disrespectful. But make sure y'all go and watch it. This year it was virtual. I don't know why that's that's bothering me. It's bothering me. <laughs> I don't like it. What is that? Why do I have this? Is that this picture? Is that what that is? I don't know what it is. Um, I will, child. Look, it's just gonna have to be there. Um, but yeah, it was virtual this year, so it was a tad bit easier. Um, not a lot of planning involved. Sorry, not a lot of duties involved. Like we didn't have to decorate. We spent a lot less money. But April 9th, twenty twenty two is going down. It's gonna be in person. Um, not sure if we're gonna offer a virtual option yet. Probably will, just so more people can attend and people that are not in Houston. Um, my hands ashy as shit. So that's coming. Wait on it. But um, anyway, I ain't want on this Blocktober or whatever. And I'm driving home. I was like, let me distract them a little bit or distract myself, cause baby, this is a long ride home uh, from where I'm where I'm coming from. But I also did want to say something. Um, on one of my many motivations, and if y'all hear me just randomly start cussing, I got road rage, and it's it's terrible. Don't, just don't, because I live in Houston where motherfuckers act like they don't know how to drive like this person that's getting a little too close to me. Shit. Make it so I can't do my thing, what I need to do on the thing. <laughs> But I posted a minute motivation. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna come out, so I can't say the other day, but it's on my page about protecting your peace and keeping positivity and keeping positive people in your life. And for some reason, I just feel led to expand on that because I'm really big on it. But I have found myself um, kind of, I won't say settling, but I've been really fighting to get in this place of peace. And normally, like, I'm there. Like, I take my energy very seriously. But lately, it's just kind of like, my, my first of all, I'm tired. I'm doing way too much. I'm doing way too much. It's a lot going on. I'm stressed, frustrated. Got a big-ass pimple right here on my face to prove it. Um, so, I've been having issues with my peace and my energy. And I don't like that. I don't like that because I've been trying to force it to get it back right where I need it to be. And it's hard. It's definitely harder than I expected. And it's frustrating because it's like, damn, like it, it shouldn't have left in the first place. Like that shouldn't have happened. I should have kept it. But I mean, we're humans. Things happen in life. It's not going to always be rainbows and unicorns. Oh, okay. It's not going to always be rainbows and unicorns. 
and we have to accept that i have to accept that and usually i do pretty good with it like i'm still able to motivate in the midst of any issues that i'm going through because it's actually the one thing that may so you done made me miss the like let me see peace it's actually the one thing that makes me happy uh it's the one thing that i can do where it's like it's therapeutic while i'm motivating other people i'm also motivating myself because another thing that's hard for me is i can't i'm tired of that i can't no i can't how can i put this I don't want to be offensive, but of course I get motivation from people that's close to me. Uh, it, it's their, you know, a little push, a little encouragement, look, some prayer. But it's not at the level of me. Like, it's not at the level I need it to be. Um, and I had to learn to accept that, too. Like, Miranda, everybody don't have the gift that you have. Um, everybody is not... The, a motive motivation and being a motivator is not their purpose and you like it's not to the caliber where you are it's it's you you can't find another you regardless it, you never gonna like you are your own person that goes for everybody you are your own person it's only one you even if somebody do something similar to you they're not gonna do it exactly like you so i struggle with that because i'm always motivating everybody else but nobody motivates me and people do it's just not at the level that I need it to be so I have to motivate myself and I do that by motivating other people because while I am talking to y'all I'm talking to myself too all the stuff that I tell y'all or all the stuff that I may say I either went through it already or I'm going through it in the moment so it comes from experience or it comes from whatever current thing I'm dealing with. I'm pretty transparent about everything. So if I'm dealing with something I ain't got no problem saying it. I ain't got no problem saying it. Like I'm a very transparent person because that's the only way it's going to get better is if you get it out. You got to get that about you. That's why I love therapy so much. Like you got to you gotta get that off your chest. You got to you know say it out loud even if you just talking to yourself like whether it's on a vlog whether it's therapy whether it's to a person a friend a family member it, it writing it down like you just have to get it out and once you get it out it's like okay the burden is kind of lifted a little bit you don't feel as stressed about it you still have to deal with it you still got to pray about it you still got to have faith you still got to get through the situation but it helps if you actually talk about it and I caught myself even being in like I want to what's what's called situational depression because I lost interest for a lot of stuff that I do. Like I got behind on my work. Um, being a full time entrepreneur is hard, especially financially. That was a big thing for me because I'm like I can I gotta be able to pay my bills and I have to rely on humans to do that and clients. Like I need more because these bills ain't gonna get paid. So I had to learn, and especially getting blessings right on time, I had to learn like, hey, it's, it's gonna come. Like, don't worry about it, it's gonna come. It's, it's happening, it's happening. Just trust God, it's happening. He done already showed you on multiple occasions. So you just gotta have faith and trust the process. Then I called myself, child. This is what happens when you don't follow God. I call, please don't get over here. Because you're driving too slow. And I don't like that because I drive fast. I caught myself. And I can't see the time. So if I'm talking long, I'm talking. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I caught myself trying to solve the issue of finances by getting a part-time job. So everybody knows that the owner of Smoothie King is like a dad to me, right? I used to work at Smoothie King. I started when I was 16, had been working since I was like 21. Then moved, like in the store, like making smoothies. Then moved to the corporate office for two years. So I, I, I know, like I was in the game. But mind you, this was like 10 years ago. So a lot has changed since then. I'm not 16 no more. I'm pretty much 30 at this point. So my body don't, don't do what it used to do. 
So I called myself, calling one of the owners, like, hey, I need you to put me in a Smoothie King store for a little bit so I can make some part-time money, like some extra money. That was around my birthday. And nobody knew I was working there. Y'all didn't know. It was maybe like five people who knew I was working there. And a part of it was shame. Um, because I had was so, I was so committed to being a full time entrepreneur that it's like I know I already talked about this, so I can't really tell people that now I work at Smoothie King again. That's that's you know. But then I started thinking about it, and I was like, fuck it! Like you never cared about what people said in your whole life. Why care now? Like shit happens, and you have to make decisions. So I had to make that decision, but. Where I messed up was I made the decision for one on impulse. Like I kept making jokes about it, but then something happened. I don't know, like stuff just kept breaking, like stuff just kept happening. And I ended up making the, it got to a point where I was like, I texted him, I said, okay, put me in the store. Like I'm not joking no more. I need to be put in the store. Um, I gotta I gotta make some some guaranteed extra money. So <clears throat> I ended up doing that and even like Rodney wasn't too happy about it because it was like he kept telling me Miranda you got to give it a little bit longer like it's only been a month like just wait and give it a little bit longer before you try to go work somewhere else because you're not giving it time and I, I had that in my head but also I had in my head but the rent got to be paid though and I'm in a lot of credit card debt I was like but these bills they don't move so I ended up making an impulsive decision, but I was very strategic about my schedule. I was like, I don't really want to work more than three shifts. It got to be in the daytime, and I needed to beat these hours on each day because I have so much work. Did I miss my exit? Oh, on, y'all. No, I didn't miss my exit. I needed to beat these hours these days. I need these days off. Like for the rest of the year, I had rolled out all the days I needed off. Blah blah blah. Child, let me tell you something. When I tell you my bank, body, brain, everything on me hurt. Everything on me hurt. I found myself for the past two weeks. Like y'all see me on these videos, and you can probably see the tiredness in me. But it's like when I cut this camera on, I have a way of, okay, let me turn it off real quick. Like, let me shut the tiredness down and then let me get back in, in YouTube mode real quick. And as soon as that camera cut off, I'm, I'm back to, yeah, I, I'm dead. <laughs> like, it's a wrap. So, it got to the point where I literally, when I tell y'all, I was so deprived of sleep. I was doing what I was going from working eight hours at Smoothie King. Like I'll do a seven to three back door and tutor from like four to seven. So I, I barely could eat in between. Then when I get off from tutoring, I got to go home and work on other stuff. Either I got to record, I got to edit, I got to do bookkeeping, I got to do my client stuff. Like it started to become too much on me, my body, and my brain. And when I say my brain, it's because... I literally couldn't function to the point where I couldn't think straight. I started either not talking at all or saying stuff that should have been, I should have been saying in my head, I was saying it out loud, and then stuff that I should have been saying out loud, I was saying it in my head. I know that it might not make a lot of sense, but that's what was happening. It's like I was just barely able to think. Like, it hurt to think. And of course, y'all know what starts to fall. TTM is the first one. Like this 5K, I I never really planned it anyway. Luckily, Sharice does all that, but I didn't. I wasn't involved. It's a lot of stuff I got to do for the nonprofit that I just don't have the energy to do. I got really behind on client work. Like when I say behind, I mean behind. And I'm like, Miranda, what are you doing? Like this is your life. Like if you want to be an entrepreneur, then you got to meet deadlines you got to follow rules you got to get the work done like what are you doing damn i just jumped smooth in front of him sorry buddy thanks though um you got to get the work done you can't you can't sit here and be slacking and call yourself an entrepreneur 
that's not how that work so I went and talked to the owner and I was like I can't do this I can't do it was killing me and I'm dead ass like again it's like on the YouTube videos you can kind of tell but because I'm again able to switch into a different mode it's like you definitely can't see the level of tiredness that I was at it was insane Y'all, it got so bad. I fell asleep in the Taco Bell parking lot. I didn't know I was asleep. Because y'all know I'm the type of person where if I get food, I'm going to eat it in the parking lot. Because I'm that impatient. And sometimes I be that hungry. Because again, going from Smoothie King to tutoring like back to back like that, I don't really get to eat or take a break. So I eat after I'm done tutoring so by this time it's like seven something I went go get got me some Taco Bell child I ate it and when I tell y'all I fell asleep didn't even realize I was asleep until Rodney called me and my phone went off that's how tired I was I could not I had to call my mama to keep me up like awake while I drove home and this is at like 730 it's not even late at night and I'm like, girl, did you just fall asleep in the Taco Bell parking lot? Like, is, did that really happen? I could barely drive home. There's been times I got in the car and I was busy. Like, it was just real, it's real rough out here for you, girl. So I was like, nah, pimp. I ain't gonna babe, do this. I, I'm not 16 no more. Like, I, it's too much. Like, I put too much on myself. But that's what I mean when I say, and I went from talking about peace to talking about this. I don't know, it just happened. Maybe I need to get that shit off my chest. Um, in order to bring my peace back. Girl, look, girl, look at God. But that was my fault for making a decision for one without consulting him first and making an impulsive decision at that. Like, God pretty much was like, oh, so you gonna do, oh, so you gonna do what you wanna do. Oh, okay, bet. If that's what we doing, okay. I'm going to teach your ass a lesson because I told you this is what we were going to do. But you took it upon yourself because you wouldn't wait and you wouldn't keep the faith that you had when you made the decision and you decided you want to go get another job on top of what you already got and now you tired of shit, too tired to do the work that you stopped working to do. Let me come. Amen. Amen. Basically, I called you to be an entrepreneur. I called you to work in your purpose. I called you to do this, 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 and this. I was never supposed to work for nobody else. That's never been, I, I, that ain't for me. It, it's not for me. And that's another thing. You know, I was getting into it with the manager because it's, I can't, I don't listen to other people. And it's, it's really like, who are you talking to? And I'm like that with everybody. Like, bro, who are you talking to? No, like you got me fucked up. Like it's what's happening. You got me fucked up. So it was like, nah, girl, what is you doing? You can't do this shit. Like you gotta quit. Like you have to quit. I I, I don't care what happens, but you have to quit. Like I even it, it's gonna I ain't gonna say I'm a suffer because I'm not gonna claim that. Regardless if I have money or not, I think at one I think at one point I told somebody I'd rather be homeless than be that tired of of course, I'm never going to be homeless because I know too many people for that. But I, I'd rather be in, in debt and deficit before I, before I kill myself like that again. Because that's just what was going to happen if I kept going the way I was going. It, it was going to happen. It was going to happen. So, that's, I think, had a lot to do with my peace. Um, there's other things that had a lot to do. To, to, uh, sorry to do with my piece that I'm not ready to talk about yet because while I am transparent I do have to be transparent when I'm ready to be transparent so it was a lot going on and it's still a lot going on like I'm still tired um but knowing that I am gonna leave this job damn it's a train what the fuck I really don't know how long it's gonna be the end because child I'm gonna be talking I don't mm -mm, mm -mm. I guess we're gonna just sit here then Damn, man, I should have stayed on 90, bro. This train be climbing a bit.
this. I hope I caught the end of it. Did I catch the end of it? Ooh, girl, these balls about to itch. Ooh, he ran the shit out that lane. Good and God. Oh, I caught the end of him. Oh, look at God again. Because he know I want to go home. And I got to make this, uh, I got to drop off these Amazon packages. But, yeah, it's it be a lot. But at the end of the day, y'all know me. That shit, like, it's, it's going to be gone soon. Like, <laughs> Like, I don't never really stay on nothing long because I'm that strong. Like, I literally thank God. Like, I'm really about to go into whole testimony mode because the way I was built, for one, the way I was created, and the way I have grown through the experiences that I've had got me to where I am now. Oh, I'm going over the railroad track. Got me to where I am now, which is strong in my faith. It, it, it take a lot to get me down like I'm again that's why I said situational depression because I'm the type while I do have anxiety PTSD and bipolar 2 disorder depression I stopped that when I was a teenager it's not really no that, that ain't gonna be my deal <laughs> like it's just not I can't because I can't stay down long because as soon as I try to get down that that spirituality and that faith in me and that strength in me kick in and it's like girl what is, what the fuck are you doing this ain't you no ma'am no ma'am no ham no turkey like <laughs> this is not you what are you doing like bring back the Miranda that I know and this is me talking to myself because again people motivate me people push me I love the people in my life but at the same time nobody pushes me harder than I push myself nobody motivates me more than I motivate myself the biggest motivator biggest supporter I had passed away y'all know that's me so I push myself I motivate myself and I literally had to talk to myself sometimes like hey sis what you doing like get up do this do that like you can make it happen come up with a plan talk to God like it kick in like instinct and I love those moments because that's when I realized like I got this like okay you I was down for a minute like minor setback for a major comeback I always say that it's just a minor setback for a major comeback and then, like I told Rodney, because, you know, sometimes he deal with the same issue. And I'm saying that because he's open about it. Sometimes he deal with the same issue, too. Or he deal with depression. And then you, I think we in the same house. So if one of, or both of us are depressed or down in some way, it's going to reflect the energy in the house. So with either both of us or one of us, because his depression going to reflect on me, mine going to reflect on him. And if it's the both of us, that's just even worse. So, <clears throat> that's another thing about peace and energy that was disturbed. That's why I said what I said. Be big on your peace. Like, hold on to that. Keep that. Hold on to it as hard as you can. Because if, if, when it leaves you, demand it back. And that's what I had to do. I was like, the, no. <laughs> Come up on me. Because what we not going to do is this like we not doing it we not doing this get it together right now and just how like i motivate i won't say aggressively but assertive i do myself like that too i'm probably more hard on myself like girl this quit this quit playing with me <laughs> what are you what are you doing huh get your ass up Get your ass up. I roll my eyes. Y'all can't see it, but I roll my eyes just then. Like, do better. So, I did go through that whole thing. Again, another transparent vlog. I got one on my channel already. The transparent vlog. Kind of about this same situation. But it, earlier when I first decided to be a full-time entrepreneur and I had my little breakdown. Because it's hard. It's hard, y'all. And people are, people do say, and I appreciate it, it does make me feel better, like, oh, I'm trying to get to where you at. Oh, I want to be there. I want to do that. I want to be able to quit my job and stuff like that. And I, you can. 
you can you just gotta have the faith to do it and you gotta know for one save but you gotta know it ain't for the faint of heart like it's not it's not it is no joke it's not to be played with in any way shape or form because y'all see like i just told y'all i went back to smoothie king because i couldn't handle it and it ain't that I couldn't handle the work. It's just I couldn't. That the financial part of it was getting to me. <clears throat> but again, that's what happens when you don't trust God. You want to make Him laugh. Tell Him what you gonna do. And then He gonna let you do it. Like He gonna let you make the decision, and He gonna let you do it. And then you end up suffering, and you learn your lesson. And you okay, that's what that's what I get for not listening. Cause he gon' he might stop you, he might try to tell you something, but like a father, he's going to let you make that decision because we have free will. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna let you make the decision, but let's see what you learn from it. There's consequences that happen when you make those kind of decisions. And I had to deal with the consequences of doing that. So yeah, I had to put in that good two weeks. And they I only did that because I like the owner. Like that's that's again, that's like a dad and an uncle to me. So I had to, I wanted to respect them. And if I'm honest with myself, that's probably the only one of the main reasons I stayed in the first place was because I didn't want to disappoint them because he had put me in the store. And it was, I mean, like the next day, like I sent one text and I'm in the store the next day. So I was like, I don't want to, these kids be in the street and I ain't got time for it. <laughs> <clears throat> I was like, he put me in his store. I don't want to be like, all right, I quit because it's only been like a month, maybe a month and a month and a half. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, I quit. I can't do this no more. I didn't want to do that. But then when I went to the talk to him, he was like, shit, quit. He was like, if that's what you gotta do, you gotta do what's best for you. I was like, you're right, you're right. He was like, don't do nothing for me. You gotta do what's best for you. I'm not gonna be mad. I was like, you right. And that's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. Once I heard that, and my lips be so dry. They already black and shit. Once I heard that, I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> I text him the next day and was like, yeah, I might. Send my little resignation to the to the manager. And he was like, at least like give one week's notice. He was like, I, I, I prefer two, but if you can't do two, just do one. I was like, nah, I got you. I'm going to do two. Like, I respect you. I respect you and your establishment. So, yeah, no, I'm going to go and do two. So, my last day is October 18th. I am working on gaining my peace back. And I can feel it coming back. And I'm excited. Glory. Glory. Okay. But, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, I done made it to... I done been on here about 30 minutes. I done made it to Coles to drop off this Amazon stuff, child. And then I'm going to go wash my car because it's filthy in the motherfucker. And then I'm going home. I'm going home. And the cold part is I'm tired, but I, when I go home, I'm probably going to do a little bit of work. Definitely going to edit, edit some videos so that I can schedule them to go out. Got to get one out for today. Because I'm doing everyday videos. Vlogtober, hello. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I love y'all. Make sure y'all keep y'all peace. Stay positive. Be serious about your energy. Be serious about the people in your life that affect your energy. Um, and even when you do get down, know that it's okay to be down. Just don't stay there. I say that all the time. Um, and again, minor setback for a major comeback. You feel me? And with that being said, I'm out. Bye.